this last season was a tough year. And uh, when you go through tough times, I think um, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. And I think some of those lessons are still going to be learned in the next, you know, three to four months. But Craig Dickinson is well aware coaches are hired to be fired, but in his case, he's been given a mulligan to make amends. The Riders finished at 6-12 and 12 in 2022. However, what was shocking was how they finished. It was barely a month ago. They were all but a lock to earn a playoff spot, but seven straight losses knocked them out of it. After he was given the assurance his job was safe, Dickinson informed offensive coordinator Jason Moss, plus two other offensive assistants, their contracts would not be renewed. No, I didn't know for sure. Um, but last night I got word that they were going to retain Jeremy and, and myself. And uh, I had already had an idea of what I wanted to do with the staff, so at that point I moved forward on that. The offense floundered in 2022, mostly due to an offensive line that surrendered 77 quarterback sacks and a quarterback who led the team to back-to-back -back Western Finals who lost confidence in his own protection. Cody Fajardo, who becomes a free agent in February, will likely not be back. I wish I would have went down with the ship and went down these last two games and then whatever happens after that happens after that. But the fact that I didn't get to play those last two games really hurt me uh, and it was really emotional for me. It was the Rough Riders' worst season since 2016. Not a long time in sporting circles, but more was expected in 2022 from an organization hosting the Grey Cup. That falls on general manager Jeremy O'Day, who will also be given another opportunity to make it right in 2023. I'm the guy that hires the head coach and, and uh, here's the staff and, and I, um, I'm the guy that signs the players, right? So um, ultimately it comes down to me and the responsibility is, is all on me. So um, it is my responsibility to make sure that we have a, 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 a team that's going to go out there and compete to win every game and ultimately be in, uh, in a position at the end of the year where we have an opportunity to, to, to win a Grey Cup. In that regard, they felt woefully short, but in the end, it was felt so many factors were out of O'Day's control, such as COVID and injuries. At the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I just truly believe that he's the, the best position to, to make the corrections that are required to get us back on track. Glenn Reed, CBC News, Regina.